fair train run this year. It is a story our Call 6 Investigates team has been tracking for over a month now. And tonight, there's still no clickety-clack on the tracks through downtown Noblesville or the rest of the 38 miles of track between Tipton and Indianapolis because the Indiana Transportation Museum is still banned from using them. It's all after seven fired volunteers blew the whistle on how the museum's board of directors was operating the museum. Now, for the first time, the museum is sitting down with Call 6 Investigates Paris Lubell to tell their side of the story. Will they be able to run the fare train? There's still spider webs on the tracks and the blue derail devices blocking the Indiana Transportation Museum from using the tracks. It's after seven former volunteers blew the whistle on the museum's board of directors, alleging wrongdoings, including questionable financial practices, failure to maintain timely and complete records, and an inability to properly manage the museum. After our Call 6 investigation on the museum aired back on June 14th, we finally got a call from the museum. And this week, the museum's president sat down with me to tell me their side of the story. It's unfortunate they went public first rather than coming to the board. Keeler explains that it was a difference of ideas on how to run the museum, moving it away from a club to a business. We did have numerous conversations with them, trying to bring them around into the idea that we're a growing business. Keeler says there were multiple opportunities for the group to come forward with problems, but they didn't do that. The seven whistleblowers said they did on multiple occasions. We want to grow into something bigger and better, uh, and that takes people, and that takes uh, individuals who are willing to um, run the organization like a business um, because we survive on revenue. Could there have been a middle ground there, do you think? Possibly if they had not gone public with the, with the letter first. The future of the state fair train is still up in the air. As of right now, the museum is banned from running on the tracks. In Noblesville, I'm Call 6 Investigates, Paris Lubell. Our Call 6 team also checked on the Attorney General's multiple investigations into the museum. Tonight, they tell us they are still active and ongoing. Hamilton County will make a big decision on the future of the museum and fair train this coming Monday. Our Call 6 team will be there as we continue to follow this story for you.